types the hardest because I sometimes mix them up with other ones that are very similar. So for example, ESTP and ESFP on the surface can seem really kind of similar to me from a distance because they're both in the thick of it. They're both living in the moment. They're both surrounded by people wanting to experience things. So I can find it sometimes a little bit confusing, like which one could they be? These types both have the same dominant cognitive function, the SE. So that one comes through very, very clearly to me. It's just sometimes I get confused, like are they secondary, you know, the second, the auxiliary cognitive function, is it FI, which would be ESFP, or is it TI, which would be ESTP? Sometimes I find it hard, especially just at a distance to determine which one. For INTP and ISTP, because they both have the introverted thinking dominant cognitive function, I feel like that doesn't come across when you first meet somebody or, you know, when you're looking at somebody from a distance, it doesn't quite come across as easily. It's hard to tell because you're most likely going to see them interacting with their secondary or auxiliary cognitive function, which would be the SE and the NE in these two cases. So when they're using their auxiliary cognitive function with other people and you see them in a, you know, in a crowd or at a distance using this cognitive function, it can sometimes mask that they're actually introverted thinkers as a dominant cognitive function. So I sometimes can miss that if I don't know them well enough or I see them at a distance or just meet them very briefly. Um, you know, INTPs can sometimes come across as quite outgoing and, and bubbly and same with ISTPs occasionally. They can come across as um, seemingly involved and so on. And actually, it's actually quite draining for them. And after a while, they want to leave. They want to get out of there. And if it, if they don't feel it's worth their while or it isn't their cup of tea, the whole crowd that they're in, they're definitely happy to leave without any regrets, without any second thoughts. That doesn't bother them. They don't feel the need to stay for the sake of others. So once you see them a, a little bit longer, then yeah, it, it shows through. But um, initially, it can sometimes be tricky. For ISFP, it's kind of the same thing, that sometimes they come across as seemingly quite outgoing and seemingly quite ready to take on the world. But you, with ISFPs, it's tricky. And I know from myself that, um, you know, while you do want to go out and you want to see the world, the motivation is different from an ESFP who wants to, to go out and brainstorm with others and connect with others and talk to others. ISFP, they want to go out and see the world, but they're happy to do it alone. They're happy to experience things alone. They don't have to be around other people. In fact, if it's more than one close person or two close people with you, you're probably going to find the experience rather draining at the end. Um, so it's just little things like that. When you first meet them, they come across as a different, as seemingly different. Like loads of people that I know who don't know me well enough think that I am an extroverted personality and I am far from that. I'm definitely not. I can be social and I can definitely give on the persona of being bubbly and introducing people and talking to people and talking to this person, that person. But it's a mask, really. It's not true.